Hello guys, welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look into very important keywords uh, that are available in Robot Framework Selenium library for controlling the Selenium speed and the timeout. So before we go into these keyword details, so let's understand where or which keywords we have seen till now that require the timeout and why do we need to set the selenium speed okay so in the selenium library if we go to the documentation here right so uh, if i say uh, the alert keywords that we have seen before right so let's see alert should be present okay so here in this keyword you see the arguments here that it requires so it requires if if you want to verify the text uh, action and then you have the timeout okay and what exactly will be the timeout if you don't specify so timeout specifies how long the wait uh, will be on this particular page um, for the alert to appear so so this timeout here for this keyword it's basically the wait on that particular page uh, that the web driver will wait in order to uh, make sure that the alert appears or not and if you don't do not specify this particular timeout it will consider the global timeout that will be that is basically defined in your selenium library now you can override this uh, global timeout and specify your own timeout that you need so for example there are some alerts on your page which you know they take a lot longer as compared to uh, the default timeout that is available in the selenium library uh, so you can override that or you can set your own timeout to whatever uh, seconds you want and um, it will wait for that particular alert similarly wherever you have this timeout specified for example here it's by default zero um, wherever there is a default timeout that is required in the keyword uh, it will pick the global timeout or you can specify your own so that is why you need to uh, have this set selenium timeout so what this keyword does is it sets the timeout that is used by the various keywords so wh wh whichever keyword selenium library uh, keywords are available in robot framework that use the timeout they you can specify the timeout your set selenium timeout and those keywords can use the timeout that you have specified um, then get selenium timeout it gets the timeout that is has that has been set okay so if you, you if you haven't set any timeout it will get the default timeout that is set in the selenium library uh, if you have set your own timeout it will it depends where you are using this get selenium timeout uh, it will display the timeout that has been set accordingly then selenium speed is another important thing so uh, if you see this script here right so what we have done till now is we have utilized sleep after each uh, command or after each uh, keyword that we have used we are uh, we use the sleep of two seconds four seconds three seconds depending uh, what i want to show you and i have already mentioned in the previous tutorial that this is not the good approach to you know like to handle uh, the weight right so instead of using the sleep you can use you know um the speed so what selenium speed does is it um, gets the delay or uh, it sets the delay so set selenium speed sets the delay uh, between each statement okay each selenium command will wait for that particular delay and please note that this is also not so this is only for the advisable for the debugging purpose unless until your script really needs that delay in each statement uh, you should not use either the sleep or uh, the selenium speed okay or setting the selenium speed to any other number if you are debugging your script you can set selenium speed at once 
in uh, at the top of the script and all the statements will wait for that particular time uh, before moving to the next statement or before executing the next statement so you don't have to uh, with set selenium speed you don't have to use the sleep after every statement when you are doing the debugging so that's the advantage of selenium uh, setting the selenium speed and uh, get selenium speed will get whatever speed has been set um, in the selenium library or in the test script now by default the selenium speed is set to zero and the timeout selenium timeout is set to five seconds but you can change it globally as well as within the script now let's understand how you can utilize uh, the timeout and speed keywords in your script to debug and to uh, specify the timeout for the web elements that might take quite a while to load on your uh, in your uh, application that you are testing now in this particular script what i have done is i am just first of all i have added uh, just two statements here so the keyword that I'm using is get selenium timeout and get selenium speed. So I am trying to get the default timeout and speed that is available, that is set in the selenium uh, library for the robot framework. So let me um, comment out all of the other statements here and run this particular script and see what is the timeout and speed set by default, okay? So let me run this and it will run pretty quickly. Uh, let me open the report and see the results. So here it has executed these two statements. So get selenium timeout, as you can see by default, it's set to five seconds and the speed is set to zero seconds. So we can update the timeout and speed. Now for the timeout, what you can do is I'll simply, let me uh, uncomment these statements here and I can set the timeout, right? So uh, I can either set the timeout within the test case or at the global level in this particular whole test case. So at the library import level, I can simply say, um, two spaces selenium uh, in libraries two spaces selenium library two spaces and then i can specify timeout and i can specify the seconds or minutes that i want to wait for the timeout okay and then if i run this script again let me delete all these results here So if I run the test again and see the results, so now the timeout would be 10 seconds because we have specified the timeout manually to 10 seconds, right? So you can see the timeout is 10 seconds and speed still zero seconds. Now going back, let me close these windows here. Now going back here um, on this particular script, now, why do we need the timeout or why do we need to increase or decrease the timeout is because there might be some web elements which might take quite a while to load, right? To, to load uh, fully. So if I specify that the timeout for those web elements um, to increase, then it will wait more for that particular web element to appear on the page. So in this case here, I have specified the global timeout to 10 seconds. Now let's go ahead and pick a keyword that will require the timeout, right? So which has the default timeout. So for example, if I use this alert should be present, okay, on the page. And here I don't specify any timeout. So what it will do is it will take uh, the timeout that is defined globally, which is the 10 seconds, right? So let me um, just default, open the browser and then just use the keyword alert should be present. And let's see, it will fail because the alert won't be present on this particular page. So 
we what we want to see is that the timeout or the time that it waits on that particular page is 10 seconds so let me run this script again and verify that the timeout is actually 10 seconds which we have defined at the global level so it will open the browser and it will wait for 10 seconds and then the script will fail yep so it has failed and if i open the browser uh, open the results and you can see that alert not found in 10 seconds right if i remove this timeout here which is which we have defined at the global level and run the script again it will reset back to the default timeout that is five seconds right so we'll see the test to fail here and still waiting yep it failed again and now let's see the report and see the timeout so you can see that alert not found in five five seconds okay so that's at the global level but you can define the timeout at uh, within the test case as well so i can simply say um, set set selenium timeout two spaces and then i can set here the timeout just the seconds so 10 seconds and then uh, it will wait for the alert for 10 seconds so let's run again and see that this particular timeout has been set again so let's go to pycharm yeah it's still waiting for the alert to appear it will wait for 10 seconds and then it closed right so let's open the results and here you can see alert not found in 10 seconds right it's available here so that's about the setting the timeout now coming back to the selenium speed now set selenium speed is most widely used while you are debugging your scripts and you want to actually see what's going on on the web page when you are running your script so you can set the selenium speed to a certain um, level so for example every command waits for two to three seconds you can set it once and then you won't have to use these sleeps in between the command so it will once you set the selenium speed uh, to whatever seconds you want so for example i set the selenium speed um set selenium speed to say for example four seconds then all the commands after this set selenium speed will wait for four seconds before they execute okay so let me uncomment all these commands here and now i don't need sleep in between anymore and this saves us a lot of time in debugging so now each of these statements uh, will execute and then it will wait for four seconds before executing the next statement so it will open the browser in uh, in chrome browser and then uh, open this url in chrome browser and then wait for four seconds uh, then verify that the alert is present or not let me remove this because it will fail the script and uh, it will wait for four seconds then maximize the browser window wait for four seconds then scroll uh, the element into view then again four seconds so it will keep waiting for four seconds and move to the next statement so let me reduce this to two seconds otherwise it will take quite a while um, and then run this script again and see that it is waiting between each command so it will open the browser 
wait for two seconds maximize the window again wait for two seconds and then it will go to the relevant web element and it came back to the web element so it's performing all those operations that are specified in the script and once all the operations are done it will finally close the browser okay so it has closed the browser and the test has passed let's analyze the report and here you can see that once we set the selenium speed it by default it took time or delay of two seconds before moving to the next statement okay uh, now if you don't specify this selenium speed say um, I comment this uh, set selenium speed right and then run the script again let's see how fast it runs because there is no wait this time so it will very quickly um, run the whole script right so it maximized you can see the the speed at which this ran this time okay so that's what set selenium speed will do now one more thing so by default if we analyze this this report so get selenium timeout is five seconds speed is zero seconds right now if i specify the selenium speed here right and then i get the selenium speed at this particular location here right i just want to see uh, what is the selenium speed set right so let me change it to one second to expedite the execution and then i'll also get the timeout right so let me specify the timeout at global level right so timeout at global level I have specified as 10 second right and then here I am getting the selenium timeout and then I'm getting the selenium speed that is defined at the default level then I'm setting the selenium speed to 10 second and I'll also set the selenium timeout okay so timeout to 8 seconds okay so two spaces eight seconds and at last we are getting both selenium speed and selenium timeout so why i'm doing this i'll explain you in a moment let me run this first and show you the results It will open the browser this time i have set up the uh, selenium speed so it will wait for a second between each command and then perform the operation so it's waiting between each command and finally finished it right so let me open the report and walk through the report so the key thing to remember or key thing to note here is that set get selenium timeout is 10 seconds here right because i have set the selenium timeout at the global level right for this script and which is what it is it has picked at this level and then selenium speed is zero which has been which is coming from the global setup now here after this after getting the selenium speed i'm setting this selenium speed of one second in this particular test case right which is applicable for all the further um, statements or the keywords that are in this particular script and then i'm also setting the timeout of eight seconds after setting the selenium speed okay so in this particular script these two or the speed and the timeout that are being set in this particular script will override the global timeout and speed that are coming from the global level so that we have seen so speed we have seen that all these statements were waiting for one second 
there was a delay of one second between each statement and after that I'm printing the speed so you can see that default selenium speed one is one second which we have set here and then the timeout is eight seconds right so if there is a global timeout specified at the selenium library level but you but then within the script you specify the timeout uh, again then the timeout that is specified within your script which is eight seconds in our case will override the timeout that is defined at the global level so now you can see that the default timeout here that is printed is eight seconds because that has been defined at the script level and um, script level timeout defined uh, timeout defined at the script level overrides the timeout that is coming from the global level so that's what I was trying to explain you about the setting selenium speed and timeout very important and useful keywords to debug and use in case of the web elements which take a lot of time to load so get selenium or set selenium timeout is helpful for those sort of web elements or alerts and set selenium speed and get selenium speed are very helpful for debugging purpose now the actual weight um, which you will be using in your scripts is basically implicit and explicit weight which we'll cover in further tutorial so that's pretty much all about the uh, selenium uh, speed and timeout keywords in robot framework selenium library hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching